Michael. Hey, Jasmine. Hey, can I ask you 20 questions? Do I have to? I work in a basement on a computer all day for a reason. <laughs> exactly. You're in need of some human connection. All right. What do you want to know? OK. What do you do at SPD? Well, I am a computer forensic analyst. Hmm. So like forensic files? Kind of. There's some of that in there. We deal with digital evidence. So anything that can store a file, which nowadays most of what we're working on are cell phones. And how's your job different from something like an IT job? Uh, IT is mainly dealing with setting up and maintaining hardware and software for people, whereas we are going through and investigating something after it happens. So there's some things that overlap, but there's many things that don't. Okay, so maybe you're looking at search history, text messages, that kind of stuff? That's right. All right, and uh, what's up with the alphabet behind you? Uh, I don't know it. No, <laughs> really. Uh, we use it as markers in our pictures. Okay, cool. So walk us through the process. What happens after evidence is collected? Uh, when, we, when we get it, we'll put it in our system, we'll take pictures of it, and then we'll put it into one of these. And what's that? That is a Faraday box. So it prevents the phone from receiving any signals, especially ones telling it to wipe itself. Wow, high tech. So uh, the phone is in the Faraday box. What's the next step? Well, put it in there. We'll stick our hands in where you can use it and see through the window. We'll put it in airplane mode. Then we'll take it and we'll take it to our computer where we will try and make a copy of it. That way we can then analyze that copy. Okay, and how do you decide what information to give to detectives? It depends on what kind of case it is. Ideally, we'd like to give them everything, but nowadays things are becoming so big that oftentimes we can't, so we will sort through and figure out what's most relevant to the type of case that we're investigating. Okay, wow, so this is your desk. Why do you have so many uh, computer screens? Well. Hard drives nowadays, they're getting really big. And so a lot of the things that we do take multiple days, sometimes even a week to get done. So this allows us to multitask. That way we're not staring at progress bars all day. All right, that makes sense. Do you run into a lot of hurdles when trying to get information? We encounter encryption sometimes, but our biggest hurdle is even when we have people that cooperate and give us access to their stuff, a lot of times the manufacturers don't allow us to get everything off. And that's kind of frustrating. Of course, that's understandable. So what do you like most about your job? Oh, it's always fun whenever you find some key piece of evidence that the person thought they deleted. Right, because even if you think it's deleted... It's normally not really deleted. That's awesome. Uh, so you must have some pretty cool hacks. We do, but I probably shouldn't tell you about them while the camera's on. Fair enough. Don't want the bad guys to know your secrets, huh? Correct. Is this where the top secret magic is done? Uh, kind of. This is a way we have of recovering data where we will take these tiny wires about the size of a human hair and we'll solder them to the phone like you'll see here using this microscope and through that we can recover data from the memory chip which is right there. That's awesome. How does that tiny little memory chip come in handy? Well, for example, one time we had a person cut their phone in half with a samurai sword and we were still able to recover everything off of it because they missed that and there was 10 years in federal prison on that chip. Wow, it seems like you have a really cool job. How could someone get into this line of work? Well, I came from the law enforcement side, but nowadays there are digital forensic uh, programs out there you can go to. It's just important that you learn the technical side and the investigative side. Very good, and people can always go to SPD's website for more information. That's right, gospd.com. Okay, well, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today. Welcome. We'll let you get back to work. Thanks. See, See ya. ya.